Hey everyone, today we are going to learn how to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle when that rectangle has decimal measurements. We did this work last week with perimeter and fraction. Let's start just like last week by reviewing what I mean when I say perimeter. The perimeter, remember, is the distance all the way around something. We measure perimeter in one dimensional units because we're going in a straight line. There's just one dimension. So inches, meters, centimeters, feet, etc. I'm going to have us do problem one on your practice sheet from today together. You are given the length and the width of a rectangle and are being asked to find the perimeter of that rectangle. The length is four and three tenths inches and the width is two and one tenth inches. Just like with perimeter and fractions, I'm going to ask that you copy down this rectangle, make a model on a separate sheet of paper, some scratch paper, and give yourself lots of space. So I've copied down this rectangle, not to scale, and I've written in the length is four and three tenths inches, and the width is two and one tenths inches. And I'm going to start by reminding myself first what the formula for perimeter is. It's two times the length plus two times the width, because we're trying to figure out the distance all the way around. And I'm gonna write in the other dimensions. Again, if the width on this side is two and one tenth inches, it's gonna be the same on the other side. Likewise, if the length is four and three tenths inches, this side is gonna be the same as well. Next, I'm gonna choose a strategy. We can either write an addition problem with four add-ins to add all four sides, or we can write two multiplication problems that we will add together at the end. I will show you how to do both strategies. If we're going to add, we'll identify that the perimeter is equal to two and one tenths plus two and one tenths plus four and three tenths plus four and three tenths, or the perimeter is equal to two and one tenth times two, that's the width two times, plus four and three tenths times two, that's the length two times. And just like when I reviewed how to add decimals, I'm gonna ask that you do your actual addition or multiplication work on some lined paper if possible, and turn it to the side, step two is to do the actual computations. So you're either going to line all of your add-ins up in the same columns, including a column for your decimal. I'm gonna show you how to do that first. And then we will move on to doing a multiplication problem. So I would add up all of my add-ins, two and one tenth, plus two and one tenth, plus four and three tenths, plus four and three tenths. And I'm gonna add down my columns. One plus one is two, plus three is five, plus three is eight. That's my tenths place. Bring down my decimal. Two plus two is four, plus another four is eight, plus another four is 12. So my perimeter should be 12 and eight tenths. I'm also going to show you how to multiply to find the perimeter. And if we multiply and do the second strategy, then that helps us check our work to make sure that this is correct. We can also multiply the width, two and one tenth, two times, and the length, four and three tenths, two times, and then add those two products together. Let's do this one first. Two times one is two, two times two is four. And remember when we multiply with decimals, we ignore the decimal point first and then write it in at the end. I have one decimal place in my factors combined. So I'm gonna put one decimal place in my product. So four and two tenths is my first addend. Then I'll multiply four and three tenths times two. Two times three is six. Ignoring the decimal point for now, two times four is eight. Now let's write in that decimal point. 
There's one decimal point place or one decimal place in my factors. So I'll move over one and put one decimal place in my product. My second add in now is eight and six tenths. I'm going to add up both of those products to find my perimeter. Bring down the decimal point. Six plus two is eight. Oh, forgot my line there. Eight plus four is 12. 12 and eight tenths, 12 and eight tenths. That helps me check my work. I'm almost done. If you only used one strategy, you need to remember to check your work. You can either use the inverse operation, the opposite operation, or you can use a second strategy. Also, don't forget to add the unit. The final answer, the perimeter of my rectangle is 12 and 8 tenths inches. Now you're done using decimal addition and multiplication to find the perimeter of a rectangle.